What's the first impressions that you have? I feel nauseous. Mmm, feel nauseous. That's okay. You'll be able to feel just fine once you get to the ground. Tell me what's happening there. Just take a deep breath in. Feel yourself. Feel yourself around. See where you are. What do you think this place is? Use all of your senses, just like you felt the feeling of your body. What do you feel? Use your sensations. Just very nauseous. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's find out the origin of where this nauseousness comes from. Let's find out where it's coming from. Was it coming from something outside of you or something inside of you? No. It's felt like something's making me sick. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what it is that's making you sick. I'm going to go ahead and put my hand over the area that's making you sick. Tell me where that area is. My stomach. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put that my hand up. And we're going to bring that energy up, 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 up. Brother, you can express yourself now. How long have you been there with Lisa? How long have you been there with her? You know that you have a voice that you can tell me. Do you feel that you're male or female presence? What does it feel like to you? It's blocking me from talking. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want you to go ahead and use. I'd like for you to bring out your left hand. Drop the left stone and bring out your left hand so I could see it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start using some some signals. Okay. And when I ask you a yes answer, you bring one of your fingers straight up, okay, up and down. And when I ask you a no question, you bring it sideways, like you're nodding your head. So I'm going to ask you a question, and go ahead and answer me with your fingers, since you can't talk. I want you to tell me if you feel that this energy is male. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you feel that this energy has been there a long time? Mm-hmm. It's a yes. Very good. And I'd like for you to describe what this energy looks like. And I'm going to give you different colors. And you tell me what color this energy is. Does this energy feel like a gray energy? Does it feel like a black energy? Does it feel like a red energy? Does it feel like a purple energy? Does it feel like a yellow energy? Does it have a color? No. All right. So let's find out if it has some sort of a form. Does it have a form? Mm-hmm. Very good. Is it round? 
No. Is it square? Mm hmm. Does this form take the form of your body, of your intestines, perhaps? Of your organs? No. So explain to me, using your hands, what does this form look like? You can make the shape of it. What does it feel like? You can expand your hand to make it feel like it's big or maybe make it into a ball to feel like it's condensed energy. It's big. It's big. All right. Very good. So let's find out how big this energy is. Does this big energy take over your whole body? Mm. No. Just your stomach area? Yeah. All right. Good. So now that you could speak a little bit more, we're going to find out what is the origin of this energy that's there. Let's find out if this energy is something that you created or is something that came from outside. Did you create this energy? No. No. Very good. So let's find out more about it. I want you to connect with this energy and find out why it's there. It's angry. It's angry. Okay. So what can we call this energy today so that we can speak with it? Henry. Henry. All right, Henry. Would you allow me to speak with you, Henry, so we can help you today? Henry, how old are you? Are you grown up or are you a little boy? Or, or what? Are you young or are you old, Henry? He's fighting. Mm. It's okay. Henry can fight because he's angry. So we want to find out a little bit about Henry. Henry? Are you young or are you old? Are you a young man, Henry? Are you a baby? Or are you an old man? Just feel it. You'll feel it. Does he, does he feel like a cantankerous old man or a young man? He feels 20s, mm -hmm. 30s. Mm -hmm. 20s or 30s. Now, <clears throat> Henry, it seems to me that you're angry about something that happened to you. Is that right? He's fighting talking. Mm-hmm. Henry, I'm sure that you're having problems talking because perhaps your stomach hurts. Is that right? Did someone hurt you in the stomach, Henry? You could be honest with me. No. What happened to you? Why are you so angry? Did someone betray you, Henry? They did. And you're hurting inside, aren't you? Yeah. I would be angry, too, if someone betrayed me. What's it, was it someone that was very close to you, Henry? Was it family? A friend? Who was it, Henry, that betrayed you? Wife. Your wife. Mm-hmm. That's very hard. How did she betray you? She killed herself. She killed herself. So she left you. 
in the worst way, didn't she? What's your wife's name, Henry? Denisa. Lisa? Denisa. Denisa. Would you allow me to speak with Denisa today? Let's find out why she left you. I'm going to count from one to three, and we're going to speak with Denisa. One, two, and three. Good afternoon, Denisa. How are you today? Okay. Mm -hmm. Denisa, what happened? Why did you kill yourself? I was forced to marry him. You were forced to marry him? Mm-hmm. What country are you in, Denisa? What country is this? I don't know. How old are you, Denisa? Nineteen. Nineteen. Did you love Henry? No. No. Why did, were you forced to marry him? Did something happen? They all came. Who came? Who came, Denisa? Who's they? Men. Men. Mm-hmm. Were these men your family? No. No. What did they want with you? Women. Mm-hmm. Did they come to your village or your town to find women? It's a village. It's a village. Mm-hmm. And what happened? They took me and my sisters. Mm -hmm. How many sisters do you have? Two. Mm -hmm. So what happened, Denise, after they took you? Where did they take you to? I don't know. What happened? Uh, Were you forced to marry him? Yes. Mm-hmm. How long were you married to him? A couple months. Mm-hmm. What did he do to you, Denise? I was pregnant. Mm-hmm. And what happened? I didn't want to be with him. Mm-hmm. So what did you do, Denisa? How did you end your life? Knife. Where did you put that knife? My wrist. Mm-hmm. And what happened after? You transitioned out of that body. Where did you go? I don't know. Did you go back to the light? I don't know. Where are you now, Denisa? Where is the space that I'm talking to you from? I don't know. Denisa, how do you feel about Henry being attached to Lisa? He's mean. Mm hmm. What does he, he do? He makes me sick. Mm hmm. Does he make you nauseous? Yes. Because you're pregnant? Yes. Mm hmm. So let me talk to Henry for a moment. I'm going to touch your forehead and let's speak with Henry. Henry, 
I just heard the account from Denisa as to what happened, why she died. How did you take your life after she passed? Did you take your own life or did someone kill you? Don't let me. Hmm? He's fighting me. Hmm. Well, he seems to fight everybody. Henry, do you think it was right for you to steal a woman and get her pregnant? Do you think that was right? Do you think it's right for you to attach yourself to this woman and give her pain in her stomach? Did you know Lisa in a different lifetime? Mm-hmm. Who was she? Denisa. Denisa. So, Henry, you actually followed Denisa, didn't you? It seems to me you wanted to get revenge on her. When did you find Denisa again? How old was Lisa? Did you do attach to her before she came here into this life? Or after? When did you attach to her? I just make me sick. Mm-hmm. Of course he does. He's angry at you. <sighs> but you're not pregnant anymore. He's just reminding you of those feelings. He's just wanting to make you feel <sighs> as if you're not feeling well. He doesn't want this. Mm, of course not. Because we found him out. We found out, Henry, what he did to you. Let's find out when Henry attached to you. Did he attach to you before you were born or after you were born? I think after. Mm-hmm. And how old were you when he found you? I think 15. Mm-hmm. What was happening at that time? I was playing with the Ouija board. Mm-hmm. And how did you let him in? Talking to him. Mm-hmm. And you opened it up, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. So now we're going to need some help in getting him back to where he belongs. I'd like to call in now for all of the angels that help with me, help me today. Archangel Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, Uriel, Metatron, and let's add Zadkiel because we're dealing with forgiveness here. I'd like also for all of the warriors of the white light the blue flame and the warrior angels. Let's He's balling up. Mm hmm. It's balling up. So I'm going to have Archangel Michael go ahead and throw his net of white light around him. This is a metal net. Henry can't escape this white net. And I'd like for all of the angels to begin squeezing him in. Squeezing him in and filling him with light. We need Henry to feel that light. And tell me what Henry is doing. What's Henry doing now? He's fighting. Of course he is. So Archangel Michael, go ahead and continue calling in all of your folks, all of the Archangels, and keep hitting in. Henry with that 
beautiful, brilliant light of yours, that sword of light, and tell me what's happening to Henry as you affect him with that light. What's he doing? Ugh. What's he doing? He's bawling out. Mm-hmm. So, angels, I'd like you for you to continue <sighs> squeezing him and filling that ball up with light. And tell me what happens. He's still there. Of course he is. He's not ready to go yet. We need to talk to him. We're just getting him moving. So, Henry. I see on my solar plexus. Mm-hmm. Henry. Ma. Henry, you know you can't escape this. It's time for you to go back home. Henry, you may not be talking to me, but I'm going to talk to you. We're going to fill you with white light until you could feel and remember who you are. Henry, inside of you is the light. You may feel very dark, but inside there's light. And we're going to expand that light from inside of you. Henry, that light is getting bigger and bigger from the inside and as the angels continue to flood you with that beautiful light from source. That light is getting bigger and bigger, Henry. You're going to have to let go eventually as you feel that warmth of that light inside of you. That light is getting bigger and bigger, Henry. Bigger and bigger. And tell me what's happening, Lisa. A lot of pressure, more pressure. Of course, he's fighting back. So I'd like for the warrior angels now to take control of this. And Archangel <sighs> Michael, go ahead and keep doing what you need to do. And tell me, Lisa, what happens. What are the angels doing? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just feel like somebody's pulling my solar plexus mm -hmm. out. Mm-hmm. Well, that's all that energy. You're going, to, uh, you're going to be just fine. He's just attached to you. Feel that white light, Henry, getting brighter and brighter. Brighter and brighter as the angels keep squeezing in on you. You're going to have to let go of Lisa eventually. She's not your Denisa. She has free will, and you're violating her free will. Tell me what happens next, Lisa. He's still. Mm -hmm. I want you to use your mind also to go inside of there, and I want you to push him out. Mm -hmm. Well, you want to you want to blow all that white light on him. You want to blow that white light on him. All of that love. We're going to do this with love, because he's angry and he needs to be loved. That's what the angels are doing. They're shooting that white light from the Creator, that love into him, so he remembers who he is. Flood that ball of energy with light and make it brighter and brighter. And you'll feel how he loosens up. The only thing that can help is love. So tell me what happens. You should feel the loosening up soon. Mm -hmm. Keep sending light. And when it gets bright enough, we'll be able to talk to Henry because he'll feel like he's high. Henry, whenever you're ready to talk to me so we can help you go back home. You've got a lot of forgiving to do. Keep flooding him with light. Tell me what you're feeling. Not as much pressure. Mm -hmm. Keep flooding him with light. We have a whole army of angels right now working with Henry. He's gripping again. Ah. Well, we're going to ask Archangel Michael to keep working on him. 
And I'd like for you also to go inside of your body and see where it is that he's hanging on to. My solar plex chakra. All right. So I want you to go ahead and start using a tool to disconnect him from your solar plexus. Tell me what it looks like inside. What does that stuff look like? Oh. Do, do you see cords? Do you see cables? Do you see metal? What do you see in there? Cables. Cables, all right. So we can go ahead and start using a tool to cut through all those cables. I'm going to have Archangel Michael begin the work and cut all those cables for you. And all you need to do is pull them from the roots. Tell me what you're envisioning. They're coming up. Mm-hmm. Pull them all out, one by one. Uh. Mm hmm Don't leave any in there. What do they look like? I see red. Mm-hmm. What does the red signify to you? Pain. Mm-hmm. So pull all that out. You can do that. Uh, I'm pulling, but I think he's still grabbing as mm -hmm. I pull. Okay, we'll ask Archangel Michael to go ahead and slice all that. You can ask, just ask. Archangel for it. Michael, please slice all those cords. Mm -hmm. He's got a sword of blue flame. Tell me what happens. All you have to do is ask. There's no more pressure. Mm hmm. What do you envision now? Now it feels like he's pulling again. Uh-huh, of course he is. He doesn't want to let go. You're his Denisa. He lost you once. You have total free will. It's up to you whether you allow him to connect with you or not. No more. Mm-hmm. Tell him. No more, Henry. Break the contract with Henry. Tell Henry that you have broken the Henry, contract. Henry, I've broken the contract. Mm-hmm. Tear it up. Incinerate it. You're done with him. I'm done with you. Tell me what happens next. He let go. Mm-hmm. So let me talk with Henry now. Henry, Denisa slash Lisa have broken the contract with you. You're no longer tied to this woman. But you need a lot of work on yourself. We need to send you back home. Are you ready to go back home, Henry? Are you ready to continue your progress, the evolution of your soul, to where you don't hurt anymore? You're not angry for being betrayed. Are you I ready for this? I have to pee. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to touch your shoulder, and it'll be your indication to open your eyes or remain in this trance. And when you come back, we will come back and be able to finish it. Eyes open. You're doing great, my no, dear. No, it felt like you Mm -hmm. But it felt like he reattached again. That's okay. We'll take care of him. Back in deeper and deeper each breath. You know how to do this now. And now we're dealing with Henry. I'm going to ask all of the archangels to clam in even harder on this net. Feel that white light coming in even stronger. And now I'm going to ask for the highest power that there is. I'm going to ask for the divine light to come straight into your body. Okay. Straight into that ball. We're going to be using the power of the Christ 
This is Jesus' power. This is not the Jesus that we know in religion. This is the Jesus who is pretty much the commander of this universe. We're going to use this very strong power, this very strong light, to come in. And as Henry is being flooded with this light, you're going to be feeling him getting smaller and smaller as he becomes part of this light. So I'd like for you to tell me what you visualize as this light comes into your abdominal area. That's right. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's vibrating. Mm -hmm. He's feels like he's shuddering. Mm -hmm. Now he's bawling. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's just a struggle. Mm -hmm. Use that white light. He's clawing. Mm -hmm. All right. So as you're using that white light now, I'd like for you to connect. No. <sighs> into the earth like you did before and I want you to go ahead and grab that golden light and encapsulate yourself in that golden light feel yourself completely encapsulated in golden light while that beautiful divine light continues to work on Henry tell me what happens I'm not giving up on you. You shouldn't give up on yourself. No. We're going to work through this. We're going to make Henry understand that he has no connection with you. You have the protection of the angels now. And we're calling in the big guns. Feel that white light just burning away at that, that ball. Tell me what you're feeling, what you're envisioning. It's getting smaller. Mm -hmm. Tell me when it gets so small it's finally manageable that we could speak with Henry. When Henry has lost all of his power. He's going to be teeny weeny. Tell me what's happening. It's, it's, as soon as it gets small, he fights it, gets mm -hmm. bigger again. Because mm -hmm. he's angry. And he's moving lower. Mm -hmm. I'll keep following it. He's, I think he's down to my root chakra now. Mm -hmm. Well, he's trying to scatter away. Keep beaming that light. He can't get away. Keep beeping that light. We've got all of the angels here with you. All you have to do is ask. Go ahead and ask for their help. Tell them what you want to do. Angels, please remove Henry. Mm -hmm. Archangel Michael, please remove Henry. Christ, please remove Henry. Tell me what happens. A big ball on my, by my root cat chakra. Mm hmm What's this ball look like? I just feel it. Mm hmm Keep working on it. Always remember that you came from the Creator with the same power. All you have to do is ask. 
You are creator. You were created in the image and likeness of the creator. You have the same powers. And you have many, many around you waiting to help you. All you have to do is ask and use your intention. I want Henry removed. Mm -hmm. Say it with conviction. I want Henry removed. I want him out of me. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to send Henry? Home. All right. So go ahead and start sending him home. We always do everything with love. Tell me what's happening. Keep flooding that white light on him. You can do whatever you want. What would you like to create that ball? What would you like to transform it into? I don't know. You can transform it into anything. Peace. Mm hmm. So use peace now to transform that ball. He's letting up. Mm hmm. Keep using your intention. The pressure has gone away. Mm hmm. We want to send Henry to the light. We want him accompanied with all of the angels. Tell me what you're feeling in your body. Less pressure. Mm -hmm. There's still a little... Now there's like a small tuck on my solar, uh, solar plexus. Mm -hmm. But it's not as strong. Okay. Keep sending it. All that intention. You've got a whole team here. Tell him what you need him to do. I think he's let go, finally. Mm -hmm. Do you feel Henry in your body anymore? There's a small, tiny pressure near my chest. Solar mm -hmm. plexus. So let's find out what that pressure is. Allow it's that. moving. Mm -hmm. Where's it moving to? I think it like darted to the left or the right. Mm -hmm. So let's speak with that and see what it is. Bring that, bring that up, 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 up. Good afternoon. Are you part of Henry or somebody else? You can speak. What are you doing darting around in her? I think it's still him. Ah, Henry, you're so tiny now. You're like a little teeny ping pong ball, even smaller. Mm -hmm. Henry, we want to help you today. We want to flood you with light so that you can remember who you are. I'm sure you felt very betrayed by Denisa, but I'm sure if you look back, there was something in another life. Sometimes when you come into these lives, people have done things to you. No other life. No other life, okay. So Henry, why is it that you want to keep yourself so angry when you can be ecstatic in the light? when you can be happy and at peace. Why do you torture yourself like this? I weren't 
You weren't supposed to do this. Mm, you weren't supposed to do this? What? What weren't you supposed to do? The marriage? The women. The women. So you weren't... They were gods. They were gods, so you... They were... They were his children. Mm-hmm. They were God's children. And what did you do to these women? We took them as wives. Mm-hmm. We weren't supposed to. We were and, supposed to watch them. Mm-hmm. And what were you, Henry, in that life? What were you? An angel. Mm-hmm. Were you a fallen angel? Yes. Mm hmm So, Henry, now do you remember who you are? Yes. Now do you realize why you need to go back home? Yes. Your brothers have been helping you all along, and you were just fighting it. Can you forgive yourself for having done this to these women. You didn't know any better, did you, Henry? You didn't know any better. By you not forgiving yourself. I'm not letting her go. Why is she so important to you? She's my wife. She's your wife. But you see, Henry, she has a body right now, and you don't. If she's a goddess, then you can be with her in a different realm. Why would you want to be stuck inside of her body? If you were meant to be together, you can be with her in a different dimension, where most of her is. She's not in this body. This is just a little tiny sliver of her. Where she really is is where she is a goddess. Wouldn't you want to be with her there? Where you really belong? In the angelic realm? She's an angel, isn't she? Yes. Mm -hmm. And this is where you should be where most of her resides, not in this body. Are you ready to meet with her there, in that realm? Can you forgive yourself, Henry, for not knowing any better? Not knowing that you could be there with her. Calling up. Mm hmm. He's upset. Mm hmm. Why is you upset, Henry? <sighs> Are you afraid of what they're going to tell you when you get there? Yes. You're afraid, aren't you? Well, Henry, they're not going to be upset at you. These are lies that you've been told all this time. The Creator is never upset. Would you believe me, Henry? No. I'm going to have Archangel Michael talk to you. Tell me what he tells you. What did he say? He doesn't want to fight you. He wants you home. And you can bring all the others home with you. There's only peace and love where you came from. And you could be there with her in that realm. Not in this body. This is just material stuff. This is not where you belong. Are 
Are you ready to try that Earl Mount? To see if they accept you again? Because the whole reason she was brought here today is so that you could go home in peace, with love. This whole session was about you, Henry. It's so that you can stop suffering, go home. Are you ready to try it out and see what it's like? Not walled up anymore. Mm -hmm. Henry, you know what I'm talking about. You know they're not mad at you. You just made a mistake. We all make mistakes, don't we? That's part of being on this dimension. It's part about experimenting. You ready to go home, Henry? So you can be with your Denisa in that realm? It's quiet. Mm-hmm. You're going to feel so much peace, Henry. So much peace, so much love. Finally going home again. Henry, that light is within you. That light never left you. No matter how dark you tried making it, it was always there. Make that light bigger and bigger inside of your heart. This is your ticket back home. Make it bigger. You know that Source loves you. You know you'll be welcome back. There's no punishment there. There's no anger there. It's just pure love. Are you ready to detach from her now, once and for all, and leave this such a heavy plane and go back with the angels? You know that that's part of your evolution. You know that's where home really is. You ready to go home now, Henry? Begin detaching yourself from her body, please. Begin pulling out all of your energy from her body. You don't need this worldly body anymore. You can fly with the rest of the angels. You can become that beautiful, huge angel that you were. Magnificent being. The more light that you bring inside of you, the bigger you become. I'm sure you're huge, Henry, aren't you? I'm sure you're huge and you've been balled up into this dark space for so long. Let your wings expand. Let that angelic body expand again into its magnificence. See how bright and brilliant you really are. There's no room for anger or hate in your love, in your heart anymore. It's just love. See how big you really are, Henry. How shiny and bright. I'm sure you're as big as this building or even more. Isn't that right? You know it.
tell me what's happening. It feels wrong, so. Mm hmm. Of course it does. Has Henry left? I don't know. I'm going to ask Archangel Raphael to go ahead and start putting his light inside of your body, healing you from the inside. That beautiful healing energy from head to toe. Healing all of the cells. Feel it all over your body. That beautiful, beautiful light. It's almost like a beautiful ointment, healing ointment being put all over your body. Tell me how your body feels with that now. Okay, just really sore. Mm-hmm, of course inside. it is. Mm-hmm. There's no more movement. Very good. Just feels raw. Mm-hmm. So we're going to continue to ask the angels to heal you from inside. Every night when you sleep, you feel more and more healing. Tell me what's happening. What's coming to your mind? Loss. Mm -hmm, of course it is. Do you feel that you were holding on to Henry? Mm -hmm. Do you feel you loved Henry? Yes. He was your soulmate, wasn't he? In the angelic realm. And you can visit Henry in your sleep. You can meet with him there, with the angels. And this is something that it will take a little while to get used to. But we can now replace it with something else. What would you like to replace it with? Love. So I'm going to put my hand on your chest and feel that love coming in. It's like a fire hose of love filling you from head to toe, filling all of those spaces where you feel that Henry evacuated from. Feel it flooding in all of that love, self-love, because you cannot give what you don't have. So feel it coming in. And I'm going to tap your forehead and let's seal that. Seal that in. Tell me what you're feeling now. Better. Very good. So take a deep breath in and let me speak with your higher self. Do I have permission to speak with Lisa's higher self? I have to pee again. All right. Sorry. That's all right. Allow me to speak with your higher self. Do I have permission to speak with Lisa's higher self today? Yes. Thank you. I know you could have shown Lisa many different lifetimes today. Why did we have this situation with Henry? What did we need to learn from this today? Why was Henry there? Not that time. Doesn't matter. Why was Henry there? Hello. Mm hmm. Feel yourself going back to that beautiful beach in Fiji. Would you imagine yourself floating on a little float on the water? Drifting and floating, floating and drifting. You could put your arms out on the side and feel that water 
beautiful warm water splashing around feeling so relaxed so relaxed and as that float takes you out farther and farther into the water I want you to look out into the distance Let's see if you see any movement anything perhaps coming towards you in that water look out there and see if anybody comes to greet you perhaps a light perhaps something in the sea look out there and see what's out there Boat. A boat, very good. Allow yourself to get closer and closer to that boat. And let's see what this boat is all about. What kind of boat is this? Is it a modern boat? An ancient boat? boat look like? Just a regular boat. Mm -hmm. So allow that boat to get closer to you. And as it gets closer to you, you should imagine that that boat is bringing you a message. It's bringing you something to give you information. What do you imagine is on that boat? What's the first thing that comes into your mind? The word message. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's use this form of telepathy to connect and find out what that message is. I want you to use all of your senses to find out the message. And tell me what's the first thing that pops into your mind. Vibration. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out what we have to do with that vibration. Tell me more. Makes me sleepy. Mm -hmm. The vibration makes you sleepy? It's just like something's trying to pull me under. Mm-hmm. So allow it to take you. Allow you to take it. Go with it. Go ahead and see where this takes you. What does this vibration feel like? Describe it for me. It feels like you're being pulled under. Mm -hmm. So let's go with it. Let's find out where it's taking you. Follow that vibration and that sensation and go with it. See where it's going. I keep like it wants to go underwater. Mm -hmm. So let's go underwater. You'll be able to breathe there. Go ahead and allow that vibration to take you under the water. You'll be able to breathe as if you're breathing right now. What do you see under the water? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Keep going with it. What sensations or what thoughts come into your mind as you go under? Bliss. Mm -hmm. Swirling. What 
What else? Fish swimming around. Mm -hmm. What kind of fish do you see? Any interesting ones? Just like the schools of fish. Mm -hmm. And how do they react to you? They just swim around me. Mm -hmm. They dart around. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that they're friendly? They're just... The, the schools, they just flow with the cur currents. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have a body under this water? No. Mm. So you can go anywhere. Mm -hmm. So let's keep going deeper and deeper and see what you find down there. It's like I want to go past below the ocean. All right, let's keep going. Like to the core. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the core and see what you see there. What do you find? I just feel this falling and falling sensation. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's in the core. You've been here before. I just keep going and I'm not stopping. Mm -hmm. It's a big place. I'm having trouble breathing. Mm, you can breathe under this place. Use your other senses and turn them on. As you acclimate to different places, you need to turn on different devices. What do you feel in this place? Dark. Mm-hmm. See where you go to now. If it's dark, you could turn on the other senses to make it light and see what's under there. Just like those fish that live very deep in the ocean. What's in this place? Nothing. Nothing. How does it feel to be in this place? Just a place to sleep. Mm, all right. So does it seem like this is a place where you need to rest for a while? Yes. All right. So allow yourself to rest in this place. Feel yourself detaching and just rest while I speak with your higher self. Okay? All right. So while Lisa spends her time in this place, I'd like to speak now with the higher self. Do I have permission to ask questions? Yes. Lisa wants to know what her superpowers are. Can you tell her what those are? Hmm. I don't know. Mm hmm What did she come here to do in this lifetime? Heal. To heal. Mm hmm What does she use to heal? Her hands. Her hands. So, is she using her hands now to heal? Yes. Mm hmm Will she be able to use them more after this session? Yes. Okay. So what method can she be using to heal people? What modality? Reiki. Reiki. Does she know how to do Reiki now? Mm. No. No. So she should train herself on that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Does she need to use any other modality? Not yet. Not yet. She was asking about QHHT. Is that later in the picture? A while later. A while later. Very good. Is there anyone that she should be training with? 
Does she know anybody? No. No. Will someone come to her that could train her? Yes. Very good. She was wondering what she's supposed to be doing in this lifetime. What's her purpose here? Children. Children. What is she learning with children? Raise them. To raise them. So she came here to raise those children? Yes. Mm hmm And how is she doing? Good. Good. Any advice that you'd like to give her about raising her children? Love them. Love them. Did these children pick her for any particular reason? Her heart. Mm hmm What's special about her heart? She loves deeply. Mm hmm And where did this deep love come from? Did she bring that with her? Yes. Mm hmm Can you tell me a little bit about Lisa? when she's not in this body. Where is she? She's from the divine. Mm-hmm. Is she an angel? Yes. Mm-hmm. So by being an angel, what did she come here to do? To be a light. To be a light. Well, it seems to me that for a long time she's been holding a lot of darkness inside of her. Yes. What was the reason that this happened to her? Did she invite this light in? He this darkness? found her. He found her. Mm-hmm. And how does he look now? Is he okay now? Heal, heal. Very good. Thank you. So in being a light, does she have to help a lot of people with her light? They're attracted to her. They're attracted to her. Okay. So what does she need to do when they attract to her? Show them love. Okay. How is she doing as far as her progression here? Good. Good? Will she need to be traveling at all? to help these people? Not necessarily. Okay. So, she says that one time she had someone who hugged her. It seemed to have been like a rabbi. Who was this? Yeshua. Ah, Yeshua. Is that how he appeared himself as? Yes. Why in that form? I don't know. Hmm. What was he trying to tell her? He loved her. Mm hmm Very good. He wanted her. He wanted to help her. Save her. Mm hmm From Henry. And we seem to have accomplished that today. Yes. I'd like to thank Yeshua for that beautiful mm -hmm. divine light. Does she ever astral travel? No. No. What does she do at night when she sleeps? Where does she go? Nowhere. Nowhere. Is this because of Henry? Yes. Mm hmm So now when she sleeps, what possibilities does she have? Lots. Lots. What would you like to give her some ideas on? What would you like to tell her about that? She needs to... Heal from the suicide. Mm-hmm. This the is trauma. The, the trauma. Can we begin today by releasing some of that? Yes, her crown chakra mm. is blocked. It's blocked. Okay. So I'd like to help have the uh, the higher self begin with this process, opening up that crown chakra, and I'm going to go ahead and put my hand on your chest. And I want to go ahead and connect with Denisa. And Denisa, I want you to go back to that life 
where you committed suicide and I'd like for you to go ahead and heal yourself see yourself being healed and completely whole see yourself pulling that out and I'd like for you to give me all of that pain that you felt give it to me put it in my hand get it out of all of your cells of your body tell me when I have it all okay. I'm take it and send it to the universe for healing and now Denise I want you to go ahead and put something in its place what would you like to put there in that space love. let's put lots of love in there feel it going in there feel all of that love pumping in and I'm gonna go ahead and seal that in there touching your forehead feel it going in and now Denisa can you forgive yourself for having taken your life yes mm-hmm so give that all to me give that all to me you don't need to be weighed down with that you did the best that you could didn't you it was the only way out so give it all to me I'm gonna take that away and send it to the universe and Denise I'm sure that you felt very heavy for have taken not only your life but the life of your child so give that to me too you don't need to hold on to that anymore connect with that child can you forgive yourself for that very good so Denisa how do you feel now better very good so let's go ahead and let go of all of that all of that through your whole body I want you to go ahead and begin healing your body and by healing your body you're healing Lisa's body you don't need that stabbing pain anymore you've removed that knife it's no longer there and tell me when you feel better it feels better very good let me speak with the higher self again now that Denisa has healed herself from that can we go ahead and disconnect Denisa's life from Lisa's yes thank you go ahead and disconnect it we don't need that pain and agony anymore of that suicide she's been taking uh, fentanyl for for pain and also for thyroid will she be able to eventually stop taking this medication yes okay how has that helped her Henry Henry mm -hmm. he fought her body she, or she fought him mm -hmm. it, the pain was for the fentanyl mm -hmm. her thyroid was from the adrenaline and fighting him okay so now that that he's gone it should be relieving the symptoms yes mm -hmm. so would you perhaps suggest that she visit her doctor in a little while to see how her levels are yes very good very good is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't ask today that you would like to tell Lisa no no would you do a body scan on her and see if there's anything else that we need to work on any chakra imbalance perhaps any other energy that needs to be released there today I think we had quite a bit of light flooding her today yeah whatever was there was probably caught in a net nothing nothing very good uh, how does her aura look now that we've released Henry good. very good is there anything else or do you feel that we are complete today complete very good wide awake now wide awake feeling wonderful all over 
Oh my goodness. Wow. That was a lot. That was a wild ride. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Well, like I've uh, been through a lot. Mm-hmm. You had to even go down to the abyss to to, to spend. I some didn't understand that. Was that resting? Is that what that was? Mm-hmm. You went to rest. It, it was something was just mm-hmm. pulling me. Yeah, and pulling you me. needed to rest. Okay. That was like your place to just chill and it is because you just had surgery that was like your recovery it was it was bad Mm -hmm. yeah he was not letting go no we we need to talk to him now with love yeah okay because you two were together at one time and not just in this lifetime but beyond so you will feel probably a loss loss, and that's okay this is part of grieving and sometimes that's what you feel but you know that this is part of the process so how long do you feel you were on this journey hour and a half yep you're right on the button oh Mm -hmm. (laughs) which means you're very connected at this time yeah Mm -hmm. yeah so is this something that you want to share yeah that's fine we can cut out the personal questions okay and then just leave in the the important part anyway okay so how do you feel physically right now oh just okay you feel good yeah yeah chills i don't know it's well, really cold. <laughs> yeah. Well, you just went through a lot of it. Yeah, I, th- I think that's what it is, is my body's just like it's been kind through. Kind of like in shock. Yeah. 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 Well, you went through like surgery, like a yeah, spiritual surgery. Yeah, it was. I just feel like my whole body's been, you know. Worked on. Yeah. I don't even have words for this session. No, no. I'm just, my head's kind of spinning. Yeah. yeah. So tell everybody what was the main reason you came to this. The abdominal pain. Okay. I had started having it. Um, and actually I had it with a little bit with my third pregnancy mm-hmm. a few times. They mm-hmm. even hospitalized me and tried to starve me when I was pregnant. Wow. I was not, I was I <laughs> not a happy kid. slippers and I was ready to walk. Wow. You know, but then after I had the baby, it was fine. Uh-huh. And then I had a few surgeries and then by 2013, it instead of being sporadic, it was Con- every day. It was constant. Yes, and it felt like, uh, I used to say it was piranha chewing my insides out. So it's Henry. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, I don't know if he was clawing me. I don't know. So while this was going on, I mean, you felt a lot of sensation. Yeah. What were you feeling? Uh, it, it felt like he was not wanting to leave. He mm-hmm. was hanging on for dear mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. And each time he looked like he was going to let go, he'd grab again. Mm-hmm. And it just was pressure and pressure. And then um, then I felt rawness mm-hmm. and then sadness. Yeah, the sadness was when he left. Yeah. When did you feel that he finally, like, got it? I think after you started talking about his wings, mm-hmm. I think that meant, mm-hmm. I think that was important to him. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, so yeah. now we know why you came, and uh, do you feel that you have relief right now? Yeah, yeah. Is, so you're not feeling any? No, no. I mean, I feel sore. I mean, I'm <laughs> guessing that yeah. things might have got really clawed up, you know. But yeah. I'm, I mean, I was feeling, you know, bef- the month before I came here, it, I, it was like when you're pregnant you feel movement right i would f- i could feel him moving around wow and that made it i this i wanted to get here and figure out what was going on wow. did you expect something like this no i didn't what did you expect i didn't know what to expect <laughs> wow yeah. it was big yeah, yeah it was big and i mean i really had to bring in everything i know i know I he's mean, powerful though mm-hmm. and i th- I don't know if you've ever dealt with anything that powerful or not. No, but you deal with, you always deal with love. Yeah. I mean, basically, everything has to be dealt with with love. Yeah, and, and I think that helped. helped yeah, me. yeah, because uh, the standard way of getting rid of these, the darkness, is to yell at them and to mm-hmm. scream at them. And that's just going to get people ticked off. You yeah. need to, to really bring them back to who they are which is love. This is what the world is all about. The whole idea of 
of all this um, darkness that's going around us is because we're the fear is perpetuating more fear and and you need to bring back that peace and love and once we all start it's a domino effect once we all start getting into that mode of fear and love I mean fear and uh, not fear love and peace then the world will start changing yeah. just like this one that was so strong but there was no way that I was going to yell at him or anything. Yeah. All I was doing was filling him with that white light, filling him with that love. And he was from the light. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So do you recommend this to other people? Yes. I <laughs> How did it feel to be in hypnosis? It's not, you, you know, you don't, you're not asleep. No. 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 <laughs> no. You're, you just, you, you feel you feel at that point when you're dozing off that's what it feels yes. like yes and that's the theta state mm -hmm. yes you're in between here and there yeah good so do you recommend this to other people yes i would especially because you don't know what the pain is no you know i would have for that was my the thing that made me so sad was for the rest of my life i would was on heavy pain medicine for the mm -hmm. i'm gonna you know I'm 44 now. Am mm -hmm. I going to be 60 on heavy pain medicine? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I mean, you never know what mm -hmm. the pain is. Yeah. And I would really love for you, you know, once we post this, uh, to check back because people are going to be very, very curious as to what happened. If, if okay. If you, any of it came Yes. Yeah, so yeah. your sensations, things like that of what, what's going yeah. on. I don't. I don't see any reason for him to come back because, you know, once you have your wings, you know, yeah. he's going to be, he's welcome back. Yeah. So there's no reason. So you need to always send him love. Okay. Okay. So if you would like a session with me, uh, I am based out of Miami. You can go to my website, albawineman.com and I do travel everywhere and there is a page on my website it's the out of town page you can sign up for my newsletter and if i'm near you you can uh, sign up and hopefully see you then right now we are in the cincinnati ohio, ohio area today it's my last session here we're going home tomorrow okay. and uh, where do you live <laughs> in kent in Kent, Ohio. So we're technically in Florence, Kentucky, which is right by the airport. But um, I do my sessions in Miami and all over the place. But hopefully we'll see each other soon. Until the next time, thank you for watching. And I hope to get to see you pretty soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. You did great. Oh, my God. Great. I got one.